Voters in other parts of central Georgia say casting their ballots has been pretty easy. Taylor Hicks has a look at what elections officials in Monroe and Peach counties are doing to ensure that people can vote early without a lot of hassle. In Monroe County, election officials say that the voting process has been going pretty smooth. I spoke with voters about casting their ballots and a lot of them say that they've never seen anything like this before. Smooth, everything went smooth. Take a look inside of Monroe County Registrar's office where people are filling out their ballots. Keith Moody has lived in Monroe County for 23 years. He says he's always had to wait to vote, but on Tuesday, he got to walk right in. I didn't wait at all. I think they got a great setup. They got the lock boxes where you slide your ballot in after you had it done. Rosalyn Harbuck with Monroe County Elections has been working the polls for over 15 years. We've seen a much bigger turnout, much faster uh, people coming in to vote, and uh, it's, it's been very interesting. Everybody is anxious to be sure that their vote gets counted. Peach County also seems to be having a smooth early voting experience. Adrian Ray, the election supervisor, says she's happy with how quickly they're getting voters in and out. We have our people in place, so we have a person in every area of the polling place. So that's a plus. So everybody has a job to do, and so that's how we're moving them out. So it goes from one station to the next station to the next station, and then... Um, out the door. Nikasia Ward, a first time voter, says she waited less than 15 minutes. I like that it was real smooth and for it to be during a pandemic, I felt like it was very nicely like separating it. Both Harbucks and Ray say that this is the biggest turnout they've seen in a while. We know that we voted over 1,700 people oh in the goodness. county so far. Monday count was 270. We up to six, what, 610 yeah. now? Harbucks and Ray also say because so many people are voting at once in central Georgia, the systems were slower than usual. But other than that, they have faced no other voting problems. I also spoke with a voting poll worker over in Jones County, and she says that they helped over 800 people cast their ballot. She says that they're going to keep working hard in order to get people in and out of the building. In Monroe County, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. Early voting runs through Friday, October 30th for early voting locations in your county. You can check out 13WMAZ.com.